what up what up what up just wanted to do a uh, quick video uh just a fast update there's nothing really to get super in depth about but uh i did have a couple of thoughts that i wanted to get out uh not worth like a two hour long long live stream or nothing like that but we are gonna have the uh the uh, post game stream today or tomorrow whenever y'all end up um end up seeing this but kellen moore has been retained by the dallas cowboys and i think that's a very very important move on many many fronts um of course this is one of the moves that we have to continue to fight the i'm legend monsters for uh because a lot of people feel like kellen moore is not a good offense coordinator and that's strange uh but you know man if kellen moore and dak prescott have consistently uh since they've been together while while dak is healthy they've been the number one offense two three at the uh at the least then i don't understand why we're trying to change what's one two and three and why we don't get pissed off at what's ranked 32 you know what i mean like fix the 32 and it'll even make your your one rank look better i don't know we're not here to argue about that though but uh just a handful of reasons why i think keller moore getting brought back or being retained in dallas is 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 so important uh for one because he's young and he's still learning which is incredible that what he's done you know or 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 just what he's done so far uh as a young coach as a young play caller and an oc and i understand you know you may not like and look kellen ain't perfect man let me say this kellen ain't perfect Dak ain't perfect i love to come out and say this because because you know when i say this with so much passion people hear it as oh vash think kellen is perfect or vash think Dak is perfect it's not that kellen's not perfect but if you have a gripe about Keller Moore, it's something like, oh, I didn't like that he called this double reverse at this down the distance at this part in the game. Okay, cool. Well, if he called a, a game of 70 plays and you don't like two or three of them, I think that's normal uh, for offense coordinator. What I don't want is for Keller Moore to make all of his mistakes here, then for him to go elsewhere and become one of the best offense coordinators in the league again, again, or even better offense coordinator in the league after he's learned the lessons and took the thumps with us. That's not what what i want uh even um even like sean mcveigh had to you know do his time up under jay gruden and all that and you know dealing with Kirk cousins or whatever he had to deal with that process and you know refine things and get right then he turned into sean mcveigh keller moore might be our sean mcveigh but you don't want to you know let a guy walk like that just because you have impatience about a play call in a game you see what i'm saying like yeah that play call is not good but fam what about the other plays you know what i mean like uh grade the whole body of work not just the one play um yes you know you could be reprimanded for a bad play call but it's not worth losing your job especially when you're one of the better ocs in the league and you're ranked number one and you know think about what he's doing with andy Dalton and all those guys um which brings me back to a, uh to another point why i think it's so important to retain kellen moore is the continuity you know um you know mike mccarthy wanted to keep kellen moore so he could be like the connected tissue for this offense from the last administration we see what happens when you bring in brand new big ass change um you, you uh take a look at the defense you know what they were doing this year they, they, they eventually got it right to a degree and, and you know that's what mid-season form will do for you um but you just have to you know you have to consider continuity and if zeke has been in this system you know Dak, gallup cooper um, the offensive line if they've all been in one system Kellen Moore has played and coached in this system uh then just keep the system the way it is especially if it's working I mean if the shit's working man then just then just keep doing it you know um you don't want to you know let Kellen Moore walk and bring in some dude and now we got to revamp the whole offense and that's gonna set us back another step you know I want to keep from doing things that's setting us back a year and I think going to a whole nother offense coordinator not only will it set us back in a, in a term of uh, it's a new offense, but it'll set us back in. OK, this dude, may, this dude might not even be better than Kellen. You know, what I mean, I don't like shooting dice. You know, uh, I like shooting dice, but I, but I, I just don't like the, the random number generator of of of, of shooting dice. If, if I have a guarantee, you know, if I have a guaranteed good thing, I don't want to just play roulette with that and end up getting somebody that I think is better. and They're actually worse. Uh, that's a bad deal for me. Um, but you know it, you know if we maintain continuity man Dak and Kellen and they were going to do something special this year man I'm so convinced that the Cowboys was going to do something so so special and look at what they were able to do with what they had you know uh so just we're going to come back Dak is going to be healthy CeeDee Lamb is going to have another year under his belt Tony's going to be more involved uh Leo Collins isn't going to have a 
a, a freak hip injury that nobody saw coming. Zach should be fine. Tyler Biotis is going to have another year under his belt. Um, you know, Tyron Smith is going to play 13 games. Tyron Smith isn't normally out for the season, guy. He's normally out for like four games, guy. I can live with Brandon Knight for four games. I mean, look at what we're able to do with the offensive line where everybody was a backup except for Connor Williams. So now think about the offensive line where everybody is a starter except for, for you know, Tyron Smith. I can live in a world where we're running out Cam Irving or or, you know Brandon Knight for a couple of games opposed to a whole season you know I can live with that um and you know we just keep on rolling man and you know like I said man we believe in midseason form for a reason you know if that defense that defense was once the worst defense I've ever seen in my whole entire life but now it's simply just a really bad defense and that's okay that's improvement uh we can we're gonna go into the draft we're gonna get some guys that are gonna be complimentary guys we're gonna get some get some guys that are uh, gonna be healthy it seems that Gerald McCoy is in the plans for the Cowboys coming back next year that's good um he's gonna be a rotational guy with uh Tristan and Neville we're gonna figure out some of the other spots the number two corner spot hopefully we address safety at some point and even with your D-line better right i don't know if we super address linebacker but if we do cool but if we don't address linebacker maybe your linebackers play a little better um if your um if your d line is better you know hopefully hopefully that'll be a thing um and you know if we just if we just clean up some of the small stuff man there there's no reason why this team can't be the team that we expected it to be um you know plus considering you know what's probably going to be happening over the next couple of days in the playoff race when we get the schedule next year we're going to be playing against third place teams you know and that'll be even even better for us we get to beat up on teams and we get to beat up on weak ass teams next year there's no reason why we can't be a super bowl contender and then man you know um you know kellen's a young dude man so he has his whole life uh to uh to go back to boise and be nick saban and you know coach there for 20 30 40 years you know but i think kellen understands that he has this this small window this small super bowl window where you know you're in a situation where you have a an offense that could be one of the best ones in the league a quarterback that you that you feel like can get it done and you're just a handful of pieces away I think Kellen Moore understands that opposed to doing this entire reset, this big reset um, where you got, OK, well, I went to Boise. It may be or may not have worked. OK, let's go back and see who wants to hire me in the league. Oh, the Jets want to hire me. Uh, the, you know, this 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 raggedy team wants me to come in. This terrible team wants me to fix their offense. You know, uh, it's not like you're going to go to a team, you know, with a with a good offense because teams with good offenses got good offense coordinators. And those dudes, you know, probably going to keep their job. You know, if Kellen was to leave and come back to the league, it's not guaranteed that he'll have a job in Dallas. So I just I just think Kellen Moore understands the situation that he's in. He sign, he's going to sign a three year extension and he's just going to be our guy. Um <clears throat> either kellen had that realization or jerry jones walked in with some goons and tied him to a chair until he uh you know until he signed the paper i don't i don't know what happened um but kellen moore is a dallas cowboy for the next three years man it's good to it's good to have that dude around um I know it's gonna be some i am legend monsters that hate it but uh if you if you look at all of the the I don't even want to say this because it's gonna sound mean to the people that don't like Kellen. But if you if you if you look at all the people that I'll say the people that that cover the team, right? If you look at the the people that 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 cover it, you know the the YouTubers, the B writers, the 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 media people, then th they give you good vibes about what Kellen Moore is. You look at the experts or what, and I air quote the shit out experts, but you know they have a good vibe about Kellen Moore. The only ones that that dislike Kellen Moore are I am Legend Monsters and Fuss the King. And I'm trying to slowly transition Fuss the king out of i am legend monster mode all right uh with that being said man i ain't want to hold y'all too long man it's a late video um it is what it is i just wanted to get my thoughts out so i can be on vacation tomorrow not even full-blown vacation i just uh i just want to sit around and chill till it's time to do the post game show and then we'll do post game show all right see y'all then tomorrow y'all hold it down for the doski woskin and peace can we follow me on twitter v-o-c-h-l-o-m-b-a-r-d-i